Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we have the Blue Joy 4G. This device is quite interesting, super small, very cheap, and I only recommend it for those of you who are looking for something extremely basic that can just do phone calls. That's essentially it. Uh, here are the frequently asked questions from you guys. This is a bare bones device. Don't expect it to do anything more than phone calls and the very basic text message. Even though it does have a browser, I do not recommend using it. So we'll go over a few things here and there. It does have a camera, uh, does have a flashlight button right here that you can see it activates pretty quickly. It does also have the volume rockers on the side. And unfortunately, it does have a charger that is less than ideal with the micro USB. So it does have a charger that is a micro USB, no USB-C, a little bit sad about that. It does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to listen to uh, music. And that is nice. I, I think that is something that it's definitely appreciated. Uh, so let's go over some of the main functions like messaging. And the messaging has an inbox and outbox. So group text messages is not a possibility. When it comes to writing the messages, you're going to be pretty much stuck with um, triple click, but it does have a few languages. That is actually a very big advantage. It does have languages for Spanish, English, Arabic, and French. So it does have four languages, quite a good availability, especially for the United States. Um, it does have a web browser, although I do not recommend using it because this it's just a tiny screen and you are not going to be able to use it. Uh, just for comparison's sake, here is a screen from a regular smartphone. And I mean, this is the screen for the uh, Blue Joy 4G. It's extremely, extremely small. And I mean, you know, even if you were to go to a flip phone like the Mode Retro 2, I mean, just the screen itself is bigger or as big as the device. So. Those are some of the good things. It's a cute device. It's very small and pocketable, very light, very nice to use. Don't use the web browser. It's not going to be worth it unless it's a true emergency and you really need to know some information. Uh, it won't actually deliver on its promises. The device has a micro SD card here in the back. Uh, you can access it pretty quickly by sliding this, taking out the battery. Uh, it does have a dual SIM as well, uh, but you do have that ability to go into music, the music player or multimedia. Uh, you have the audio player and it works pretty well if you load your music. I recommend a 16 gig card. That's the max that I was able to test. The 32 kind of kept failing sometimes. And the organizer, you have Bluetooth, stopwatch, world clock, unit conversion, ebook, memo. These are kind of basic on the ThreadX operating system, but don't expect to actually use any of these. You have an alarm, a calendar. Uh, to navigate on some of the menus, you're going to need to use the four and six key because it doesn't have all of the directional keys. As you see, it has up and down, and you can use four and six to go back and forth between the other areas. Uh, and of course, it has a select key in the middle of the up and down keys. Uh, so again, it's very basic, very nice. The call quality is not the most amazing, but it does get the job done. And in case of emergency, you also have a camera. Uh, the camera is not the most amazing viewfinder, as you see right here, I'm going to put some samples that I took, the usual pictures that I put uh, off the room, and you can judge for yourself how great this camera is. It's not amazing, it's not the best, but it does get the job done. And in an emergency, you're able to find extra information about it, you know, and that kind of stuff. Uh, when it comes to the settings, SOS, profiles, time, date, phone settings, call settings, etc., etc. Uh, when it comes to the phone settings, I can show you the language here. It does have the writing language right there, Arabic, French, uh, Portuguese, uh, and Spanish. I missed the Portuguese before, uh, but it does have that availability, which is a lot of languages, especially for the United States. So you can get it for your parents or maybe for somebody that only speaks a specific language and you want to help them. $40, it's a pretty good you know, price for that. Um, you can use it with T-Mobile and pretty much that's it. Don't actually expect to use it with anything else. Um, so yeah, this is the device. It's going to be a short review because there's not a lot to say about the device, uh, except that it's a very good phone. Just that. It's a mobile phone with decent battery life. We're talking about five days of battery life because the screen is so small and you know, you're know you not going to be using it a lot uh, ex except for phone calls. Then you know this device is just bare bones, but it's just what you need. Um, 
It does have an FM radio, which is nice. And if you want to listen to the radio, you can. You do not need to use a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in order to make that happen. But again, this device is just a bare bones device that if you need in an emergency or you need to give to a kid, um, it, even and though it does have a, have a web browser, you can still just get a no data plan. So they're not you know looking into stuff that they that you may not want them to look for. Um, so you have that availability right there for this device. And I really like it because it's light, it's cheap, and it works pretty fast. So if you're looking for a very basic phone that it's going to last for a long time, the battery life, the Blue Joy is the device for you. If you have any questions in specific about this device that I did not cover in the review, make sure to put it in the comments below and I'll be interacting with you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.